do you think a big point uh a big part of that interest and kind of the tipping point for evs is around cost uh yeah. is it dis range or do you think that this will kind of play into uh that ability of being able to deliver evs and kind of gain that exposure at a much more effective cost point um the cost is definitely the barrier for most most people um uh for me i um uh, i mean i've seen pretty much everybody's uh um, EV, um, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's Audi or Tesla or Bolt or whoever. Okay. But I've only recommended one. I've only recommended one so far. I didn't like any of the other ones, but one seems to be, uh, and that's the model Y because it drives, it drives like a, it drives like it's on, on rails. And this drives like a train. You, you, you point it and that's where it goes. And it's, fast, wicked fast. And it's, um, I don't know, everything about it is, uh, is fabulous. The Model 3 I wasn't so thrilled about. Um, I wouldn't dream of, none of the other ones are, are really in a price range where I think anybody could afford them for what you're getting. So was, was that I've just the build one. quality with the Model 3 originally? Or what, what were some of the reasons that uh, kind of led you? Because the Model Y, even though you just or you mentioned earlier, it's cheaper to build, is right. still more expensive than a Model Three. No, it's not more expensive. It's it's higher priced. And yeah, people I'm sorry. Make the yeah, mistake. you're right. It's like the the cost and the price don't they don't they don't match. So I know that it costs less to make a Model Three or sorry a Model Y than a Model Three, but they've decided to price it at a different range. So they they've kind of said. Okay, well, we brought out the Model 3. This is a little bit bigger. Even though it costs less, we should charge more because it's got more stuff in it and you can do more with it. Okay, fine. That's, that's good. Uh, I like the idea. I have, I have Tesla stock. I bought Tesla stock. I started off in April with uh, something like 25 or 30 grand. It's worth $140,000 now. Well, where, where am I going to find anything like that? I mean, right. I should have just, I should have sold the company and just bought Tesla stock and I'd be a gazillionaire by now. But, but the, the deal here is that they have an eye or an understanding of making money. And the rest of the guys, they're trying to save money, make money, save money. They're not the same. One means I'm going to take my money and put it in a sock and throw it underneath my bed. The other one means I'm going to make an investment, a big investment, if you're looking at Tesla, and I'm going to take that investment and I'm going to eat this guy's house. It's 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 a totally different way of thinking, and um, and I know, I know why. Hang on a second. No worries. This this is what I use right here for my business. This is called the Art of War by Sun Tzu. And I only, I only recommend one kind, the Thomas Cleary edition. And you only have to read the first 40 pages. You would understand this and you can take your MBA and set it on fire because this will win every time over, over the top of, uh, over the top of an MBA. It, every time you can't believe how many really smart guys I've, I've beaten or like when my customers are using this and the rest of them have got these you know, things that they get from the East Coast. And my guys win. How come? Because this is teaching you how to win and the other one is teaching you how to save money. And it, they're not the same. So at the end of the day, um, he, uh, Elon Musk, he is a big fan. If he hasn't, if he doesn't read this every night, I'll be damn surprised. I really, I, I think, uh, I think he's really got a good grasp, grasp on what do we do to make money? And making money is totally different than trying to save money, which is what most of the other OEMs are. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit our website, connectingthegrid.com. There you can listen to our podcasts, contact us about sponsorship, or even be a guest on Grid Connections. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a positive rating on your favorite podcast or video streaming service. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out a lot too. 
Thank you again, and I look forward to us learning more together soon.